God and Tessa, you got your title back. What does that mean to you? It's a great feeling for us. Uh, it's really been a fun year for Tessa and I. Uh, it's been a lot about training, and we've been able to really focus on enjoying the process, and that's worked out really well, and it's really just a bonus and kind of icing on the cake to have that world championship back. It, it really just shows how much we've been able to, uh, you know, really focus on our, the training side of things and be healthy and, and enjoy the process. In uh, competition, though, perhaps not so many great moments this year or some real downers, uh, particularly the Grand Prix Final. Scott, you were quite vocal and animated about the score, something we've I've never seen from you. Tell me about that experience when your teammates, uh, your training mates came in and took the Grand Prix title at home in Canada. Well, I think there was a lot of pride at stake. Uh, we were competing um, at a competition we've never won before and in our home country, we really wanted to win. Um, unfortunately, I think that kind of got the better of me and I was really focusing on the marks and the judges and the we kind of were able to reflect on that in December and going into the, the new year and uh, into January, February and March and just think really about uh, our skating and you know luckily we were able to have the Grand Prix and not let it affect us at Worlds because it, it really helped us going into our bubble as we like to say and just really focusing on uh, you know what our job is and not worrying so much about the marks and if 11 people at the end of the day are going to tell us if we've done a good job or not so that was really helpful. With Meryl and Charlie when you went back after the Grand Prix final and as the tension was building um, what is it like and how do you guys handle it? Well we try and stay in that bubble that we created <laughs> I think um, it's normal as the season progresses to to sense the tension, right? Um, you know, you can walk in into our rink, and as the season moves forward, you can feel it. You can feel it, and it's exciting. I think mm -hmm. as competitors, we thrive on that, and um, we enjoy that. I think uh, that prepares us even more for competitions. And you know, coming in, we know exactly what to expect with Marilyn and Charlie. Um, it's great. I think you know, it motivates us. It's encouraging, and it keeps us on our toes. That's for sure. It's so sorry. It's you know, so funny with Charlie because. I feel like when we're in the hardest times, you know, our friendship really thrives and it's almost like we see it as a challenge that everybody else thinks that we should be, you know, fighting is, is when we probably get along the best. And so when you talk about then you have having to go into your bubble to be able to compete, what is that like and what is the focus like? So take me to uh, the World Championships here, you're stepping on the ice, when do you create that bubble and, and, and what are you thinking and how are you relating? I think for us it starts even before we head to the arena, just the, the walk over to the rink. Uh, we always say we put our blinders on and we're in our bubble right away, so we're not really taking in any of our surroundings and just staying focused on our task at hand, but trying to keep it light within that, keeping that um, kind of humor and that relaxed energy between the two of us. But um, really, I mean, there's, there's not much else I see other than Scott when, I, when we get into that zone, and it's a comfortable place to be, and I think that's where we've learned to perform the best. And when you step on the ice? and they call your name there's always a connection between you who's relaxing who who's making who laugh who's it, giving instructions it depends on the day it's it's funny when we go to compete it's always different there's some days when i feel like i'm in complete control and i need to calm tessa down but it's not very often it seems like the latter part of our career tessa is really calming me down help me understand your relationship here best friends brother sister i don't think you can compare it really it's it's a very unique relationship. We've really kind of grown into uh, what is a great partnership and also uh, a great friendship. And the further, yeah, the further our career goes on, the, the better it gets. So uh, hopefully we can just keep that going for the next two years and really enjoy it. You talk about your great partnership, and you are well on your way to becoming one of the all-time greats in the world of ice dance, like Torval and Dean. And, I've always seen that in you, and what have you seen for yourself going forward, and what mark would, would you like to leave on the sport? Well, coming off of this successful season, I think what's great is that it really sets us up for the next two years, and we can move forward knowing that everything is in place for us to train well, and everything is in place for us to perform at our best, and um, hopefully our coaches have a vision of um, where they see our program specifically going. Uh, we have a bit of an idea, but, you know, I always say at the end of the day, I'd rather people say that we are nice people instead of great skaters. What has this program meant to you? Tell me how you're going to feel about saying goodbye to it. It's, really, it's been about, uh, it's, it's, it's been a really special program for Tess and I. And 
playing two really special characters. Tessa's a huge Audrey fan, and I've really come to really love being Fred, and I'm really going to miss being Fred Astaire and showing that classical dance and, and really enjoying uh, kind of a legitimate kind of an era in, in movies. And it's authentic. been, yeah, really authentic and a lot of fun for us. So we're going to really miss it. We're looking forward to World Team Trophy. I know that, uh, you know, Worlds is over and it's, it's kind of an afterthought, but at the same time, one more time, one more shot at uh, doing funny faces is going to be a lot of fun. Well, we're going to take a minute now and look back at the winning free dance from these World Championships in Nice. Thanks, Tessa and Scott. Thanks, Jason.